over the period of seven, uh, eight odd years, we've learned to be more patient. You know, earlier every small niggle used to really get us worked up, but now we've accepted our micro and macro eco- ecosystem that we work in. So we become just more patient, and we have a good laugh. You know, at uh, any uh, obstacles that we face. You know, still today, uh, if anyone asks me that they want to open a restaurant, I ha- I tell them a firm no. You know, and I look at them in such eyes that oh my god, you know, your three four years will be wasted, and. in no time your 2 3 crores or resources will just get diminished you know so then i say yaar please why are you doing it only if that person is not from the hotel or restaurant industry either you get a sound training you know a formal and technical training in the line or you should have a great partner who's from the line then definitely i think it's a great industry to enter uh, firstly uh, it's a place you know uh, it's we are it's a primal need of all of us to eat every day right we can't just live without eating we need breakfast we need lunch we need dinner right now with the dual income family and you know uh, everyone wants to go out venture out meet people there's a desire to be social and where do you meet you meet them at cafes you meet them at restaurants and what are the common points of discussion when you meet people it's about movies where you've traveled and where you meet it right so this industry you know accounts to be a social fabric of our entire ecosystem it will always be there and definitely something like that you know it's always going to survive and even if you open if there are 10 asian restaurants you open the 11th asian restaurants and if it is good the food is there you know really good people want a change it'll definitely work so so ankit i get why the industry is evergreen right because the demand is only going to increase as aspirations increase as income increase the demand is only going to increase but why the first part of telling people not to get into this telling people that your 2 3 crores are going to get wiped off it is a difficult industry and th- that's what it's perceived as Uh, from the outside that there is a difficult industry to crack um so if you can go deeper into why what are the challenges in this industry uh see india as such is still a developing country it's not organized there's not a single window clearance for all the licenses you need so many licenses you know uh, and sometimes it takes a lot of time and of course with restaurants in our case it's slightly different because we are we don't have alcohol licenses but you know uh, the alcohol license is a state issue and you'll be surprised that for a place like goa you are paying 30000 rupees as license fee yearly and for a state like hyderabad you're paying 52 lakh rupees yearly as license fee so you see the gap you know and sometimes there are so many restrictions you know so that's why you don't have a unique boutique bespoke restaurants what you see in are other developing countries counterparts like you know thailand for that matter you know for them to come and really open a place you know which they've envisioned you know just to ensure that you make money you have to put everything you have to put events you have to put alcohol even if sometimes your concept doesn't demand you know so with the red tapeism and the bureaucracy uh you know with the high rentals and uh, uh with so many uh, strikes which happens you know there are so many bans ad hoc bans which keeps happening you know so it definitely deters the motivation you know for anyone to open a restaurant and even even if they open it probably there will be sense of excitement for the first 7 8 months and after that when reality strikes you know it fizzes out so that way uh, i just say that one needs to be prepared of uh, the environment that you're working in and once you're prepared you have the maturity then definitely it's a great industry to be in but you need to be from the industry or have a sound team you know who could ensure that your vision takes you to many outlets or have a same outlet but be it consistent for over a period of years